just uh, what do you think went wrong today? Uh, to be honest, I think on this wicket, toss played a big part. You know, we all know that. You know, this is uh, not the bad first wicket. In the second half, the bat, I mean, wicket played really well. And having said that, I think we uh, didn't put. Uh, uh, much score on the board to you know give some chances for our bowlers to do well. Uh, not to uh, uh, you know forget that you know Saudi definitely Saudi batters played really well. Uh, you had a good start with the bat. Do you think uh, not uh, stitching up a good partnership was the main cause? Uh, yes, I think I uh, mentioned this in the presentation also. I think after 30-35 overs we could have uh, stretched a bit. You know we could have easily put the Put a total of 260 plus. That would have been a good total on this wicket. And uh, yeah, uh, bad luck. We we couldn't. Uh, we as a batting unit, we didn't uh, put a good total. You had a good fight against Oman. Uh, you at a time. You it seems like you you gave a good fight. But what what do you think? You could not continue the positives that you could not bring it in this match. Yeah, with Oman again, you know, we were in the game. You know, uh, we were chasing really well, and after losing that couple of wickets, you know, me and uh, Ikram had a good partnership. After that partnership, we couldn't carry on again. And uh, yes, as you said, we had a good match against Oman. Uh, we came with a lot of positive. And again, yeah, I think I, we have to just blame our batting unit as a, myself, I mean, including myself. Uh, we, we have to put good total on this wicket to, you know, give some uh, runs of our bowlers to, you know, defend. What does, the, uh, what does this tournament mean to Qatar? What are, you, what are your uh, expectations? Uh, to be honest, you know, for being an Asian, uh, sorry, uh, associate country, you know, these tournaments are really helpful for us. You know, this is kind of a direct uh, uh, qualification for the Asia Cup. You know, we will not easily get this kind of opportunity. And I would definitely thanks, you know, uh, Asian Cricket Council for giving this kind of opportunity. And, you know, if you qualify, definitely you're going to get, you know, ODI matches, which is a big thing, you know. Even if you play for many years, you will not easily get those kind of opportunities. Uh, yeah, Nepal is doing great, you know, can, I mean, hosting the tournament uh, here in Nepal and grounds are really good and pitches are really good and uh, hopefully we have another couple of matches to do well and uh, we'll try to go, uh, put a good show. Uh, what are your expectations against the match against Malaysia? You are evenly contesting match, can we expect that? Yeah, we, we know the uh, Malaysian team, you know, we recently played uh, in, in uh, Malaysia, we played a couple of uh, tournaments over there. They are a good team as well, you know. Uh, no teams are, you know, lighter when it comes to cricket, you know. It's t t even T20, 50 over, even Test cricket. So we are trying, uh, we will, you know, try and put a good total, uh, I mean, sorry, good show uh, in the remaining matches. You will play Nepal in this ground and the situation, the scene will not be the same, the crowd especially. Uh, we have all words from the captains as well. What what do you think, the, how will the crowd uh, help or uh, disapprove in their match? Uh, yeah, we are playing in Nepal uh, and uh, in Nepal, Nepal is really strong, we know that and uh, yes, we, we had a chance to play on this wicket and hopefully our last match, I mean in the league game, last match against uh, Nepal will be a good match. Uh, I don't think it will not be a you know, uh, one-side match, definitely we are going to put a good show on that match as well. Uh, yes, there will be many, many people around to support Nepal and uh, I think we used to this kind of uh, crowd you know back in uh, Qatar also we played uh, in front of uh, you know many crowds so hopefully uh, it will be a good match